Hey, welcome to D20 Woodworking. And for this playthrough video, we're doing something a little bit different. You see, I'm not going to do well this playthrough. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not going to go well, but I thought it'd be fun to show a playthrough video that kind of happens, or a playthrough, I should say, that happens on twitch.tv backslash D20 Woodworking. A lot of times I don't win. I don't win it because I'm not great at it and I got to, you know, tweak my deck a lot and I got to figure things out. Sometimes I just get a bad villain matchup, right? I, I, a lot of times I pick these villains randomly and it's just, it's not a good matchup. Um, so for this playthrough, we're doing a Wasp Aggression deck against Thanos. Now, for a while I did all right, but it kind of goes downhill uh, really quick. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's entertaining. Do me a huge favor. One, you know, go over to Twitch and, and go follow me there. But also, if you can like this video, leave a comment, make sure you hit subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, let me know what you think about, you know, a playthrough that doesn't end well. All right, let's draw up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have Red Room Training, a Dive Bomb, Rapid Growth, Iron Heart, Moment of Truth, and a Nick Fury. Um, okay, so we can discard two cards with a Printed Science resource. Or, I'm sorry, shuffle the two cards with them. M uh, Moment of Triumph. We're not going to be attacking, defeating anyone yet. Red Room Training, I like. Dive Bomb, we can't use yet. Rapid Growth could be good. And let's get rid of both of them for now. So that's four cards we got to draw up. So one, ugh, two, three, four. All right, cool. All right, so let us shuffle Nick and Ironheart back in with Girl. Girl. Let's flip to tiny side. And let's see. Um, let's do. Well, first, let's do double in red room training, right? So giant form again, retaliate tiny. Um, we uh, get piercing. I would like to get martial prowess in, but I don't think it makes sense yet. We're going to try playing Angela and see if that works. So we search the top 10 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ebony Maul. Ooh, comes with villainous. That's fine. And then this gets shuffled. All right, so let's do, let's do, 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 do two damage with Angela. And then I'm going to throw away moment of triumph to do rapid growth because we're going to be doing thwarting. So we're going to get big. We're going to get huge. And it gives us plus two. So that's four total. So we can get rid of sanctuary. Uh, each player may spend up to three fist resources. Um, yeah, we'll do that with martial prowess. And we'll do two damage. All right, that goes in the victory. Yeah. Yeah, this deck really isn't built for what I'm about to do. <laughs> That's all right, though. All right, so we get five hand size. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, rapid growth again. Pinpoint strike. Follow through, dive bomb again, and wasp sting. Okay. This is okay. So one goes on to here. Um, so what is, what is this? After attach villain activates. All right, so he's got to activate first. Um, and then we'll do that. Okay. So I have it sleeved with side loader sleeves. So it's kind of hard to see. All right, there you go. You can see like the, the plastic shield kind of comes off. It's two sides loader sleeves. Okay, so he has to do two, oops, sorry. She should have one consequential. He's got to do two damage. Um, I have 11 life. I think I'm okay with that. Let's, 
All right, we don't do rapid growth again. That's fine. So we could do pinpoint strike. Three. And we can hold on to follow through. All right, yeah, yeah. So we're going to defend against Thanos. So he's going to attack for two. If damage from this attack defeats an ally, put no, it doesn't. So we defend, take no damage. <laughs> um, no damage, but we do have giant form. We gain retaliate, so we do one back. Now we're going to be confused. Put that there. Ebony Maw is going to attack. I'm going to let this hit me. He's villainous, so he gets a boost card. So it's one plus a nothing. That's nice. So I'll take one damage. And then we retaliate one back. Uh, so we get that on. Cool. Just turn that down a little bit. And all right, we did that. So that gets discarded before I forget. Oh, shoot. I had to do one more for this. Actually, so it's three anyway. I, I completely forgot I got plus one. But yeah, um, so that's three. That was only three. Uh, but we defended three. So that worked out fine. Okay. And that's that. I think we're, I think we're good. Thank you, engineer. Yep, you're right. So boost card. Wait, what was this card? Uh, defeat an ally. No, no, I didn't defeat an ally. So that's fine. Bad card. Oh, good. Cool. <sighs> cool. <laughs> so now it's my turn. Um, I think we're going to end up flipping down. So I think what we're going to do is swing two damage onto uh, Ebony Maw. So that's five out of six. I'm going to throw away three cards. Mm, yeah, I'm going to throw away three cards to play Pinpoint Strike. I got to sneeze. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we play Pinpoint, do we want to flip down to tiny wasp to do the overkill tiny wasp yeah we will we will flip the tiny wasp um yeah so we do that we flip to her first then we did pinpoint strike we deal seven damage to an enemy if you're in tiny uh form this attack deals one additional damage to that enemy and gains overkill. So it's going to do eight against here. So that's uh, eight minus five is three. So it's three damage done to Thanos. Plus after Wasp or an event you play defeats a minion or a side scheme. We just defeated a minion. Uh, deal one damage to the villain. So that brings him down to nine. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think we're good. I think we're ready up now. So we still get five cards. I have follow through still in my hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. We got both of our ingenuities, which is awesome. Well, not that we've got both of them right now, but we definitely want to go back down to alter ego side so we can get ingenuity in the play. So um, that's going to change some things of how we do it, but that's okay. Sue, so, this is going to go by one. Thanos is going to attack. Um, What's my recovery? Oh, it's only a three. That's not great. I will let Angela block this. So it's two, a three. It defeats an ally. Put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. No. Okay. So we discard an ally. Well, this gets knocked out. Uh, we have to discard an ally, upgrade, or support we control. That goes Red Room Training, which stinks, but that is what it is. So Ebony Maul does one. I'm just going to take this. One, two, three damage. One, two, three. Then we get our bad card. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> what are the odds of that? All right, Black Dwarf. That's something. <laughs> so if we did pinpoint now. We can't play Ingenuity yet, which stinks. We'd have to wait. But we can get rid of Black Dwarf, which is pretty dope. I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll throw away a double in Ingenuity. 
to play Pinpoint Strike. So again, we're going to do 8 damage to Black Dwarf now, because it's 7 plus the 1. Is there supposed to be another one? No. There's only supposed to be one, because we activated the that stone. Because we put it into play through this card, and then it was activated by the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, so that's 8 minus 6, it does 2 damage. Knocks out this guy. And then we defeated that, so we deal one more damage. Um, then let's do one more damage to take out Ebony Wall. Yeah, boost effect would be first. So anything that happens in boost first, like it happens even before you count the damage. Because like if it knocks out your ally, right, then you can't do it. So uh, Ebony Maw gets taken care of. Then let's flip down to Nadia's side. And we can't do anything there. But we can do um, Girl. So let's shuffle in another Pinpoint. And uh, Genius, right? Because that has a printed resource, so we can do that. I'm pretty sure we can do that. If we can't, let me know, but I think it can because it has a printed science resource. We'll shuffle that in. And then we'll ready up and draw up to six. And hopefully it doesn't crazy scheme on us. <laughs> so if I snap half my deck, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. Okay. I mean, it's good. It's just, it's weird. All right, that's that. So this gets one. Scheming for one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. There is no uh, card here. So now that becomes a card. Time stone. So we'll have to discard next round. Now we get our bad card. Shadows. Man, I've been getting shadows a lot recently. As additional costs here to make a base attack, that hero must spend one resource as a guard. What's guard? I can't attack the villain, right? The fee choose to either spend a fist resource or shuffle beetle back into the encounter deck. Uh, okay. And we have to get rid of mother's orders. Okay. So. We can do follow three, which is nice. Probably not going to be able to do um, pinpoint yet. All right, so let's first shuffle two more cards back in there. Two science resources. Um, yeah, two science resources. So a pinpoint and a wasp sting. Shuffle them back in. Do I have tombstone? Really? Did not know that. That is a fun fact. Let's flip over to small side. The as an initial cost for each hero to make a basic attack. All right, so don't want to make a basic attack. So we're on small side. Let's throw away double red to play follow through. And this should work well with pinpoint. If I do this correctly. Oh shoot, we never played Ingenuity. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to our other side. I should have done Ingenuity first. So we're going to throw away... Ugh. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of Pinpoint. Alright, so let's throw away Pinpoint and Nick Fury to play Ingenuity. Ugh, that pains me to do, but that's alright. Now we're going to flip... Um, so we, I know, right? <laughs> uh, so we're going to use ingenuity to generate a science resource, which lets us play endurance. So we get more health. Then we're going to do power of, um, the red double to do follow through. And then I'm going to thwart one off of mother's orders. I think we're good. I think that was a bit of a setup. Hopefully it doesn't bite us in the butt. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully we got pinpoint. Yeah, we got pinpoint again. Okay, cool. And pin particles. So giant form we can heal. Oh, we got the helmet though. Oh, we got so much going on. Okay. 
One goes under here. <laughs> Thanos is going to attack with three. I'm going to take the hit. Three, four. Discard the top four cards of your deck. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have an event, an event, a resource, and an upgrade. Ah, oh, my wings, too. I need that aerial. So that's uh, three different cards. So three goes onto here. One, two, three. And this gets discarded. We take one damage, which is fine. We are going to have to flip down soon, though. And then we get a bad card. Oh, my God. Don't attacks you. I have to defend against this. I have to defend against this. So two, two, three, give Thanos a tough. All right, so we take one damage. He gets another card, right? Because this was empty. And so we will be stunned in a minute. Okay. Oh, that was rough. All right, so do we want to heal on big side or draw a card? Probably gonna want to heal. But we can't do pinpoint strike to gain overkill. So the one thing that's nice with follow through, right, is when you uh heroes attack deals any amount of excess damage, increase that amount by one, right? So it does excess damage, and then the overkill would do more damage, but he has a tough anyway. So we could do one, two, three. To draw a card. I know pinpoint strikes gonna be a bit overkill, but I think we're gonna do that. So ingenuity, throw away a card and do pin particles to deal seven damage. It does the whole overkill thing. It would um do overkill to knock off the tough. Knock this thing out. It actually do eight, nine damage instead, but it just knocks off the tough. We defeated the thing, so we do one damage to the villain. Okay. And then we have to draw a card because we're in tiny form. Ugh, it's Iron Heart. Of course, it's Iron Heart. Um, and we can't really flip because that's gonna scheme out, and that's not gonna be great. And we're gonna about to be stunned. But I do need to get rid of Mother's Orders, unfortunately. Oh wait, that was an event, so we have to do Mother's Orders. Um, so we'll get rid of Wasp's thing. We had to pay... Oh, no, we didn't make a basic attack. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. That's fine. Um, ugh. I guess I'm going to put the helmet in play. That stinks, dude. But we're going to throw away two to get the helmet in play. And I'm going to flip down. And I know this is going to get rid of um, half my deck. It's going to get snack. Is overkill and piercing combo. I think so. Oh, wait, what would it have piercing? Did I have piercing on something? No, I don't think I had piercing, right? Yeah, it just does overkill. Okay. No, I didn't have, I don't have piercing. So it would have done the initial thing to do the one damage. And then the, because of my, um, response so after i defeated the whole thing so after the the defeat that's when i would do the one damage um so it was like two separate things right but that'd be an interesting thing if overkill and piercing combo i i would think so but i'm not sure on that so also lorex you uh followed i'm sorry thank you for the follow i appreciate it. uh red room gave piercing earlier oh yeah 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 we lost red room sadly um, okay, so we're on Nadia's side. We can shuffle two more science cards back in. That's going to be... Uh, I guess we can't do... Okay, so we'll do Iron Heart and Pinpoint Strike again. Shuffle them back in. And he's going to snap the deck, but I'm hoping I get a decent draw. I have okay cards out there. I'm just going to kind of hope for the best at this point. I might have to like rush him. All right, let's ready up. I have Ingenuity. That's like the big thing. And the helmet. One, two, three, four... Five, six. I'm going to try a surprise attack, which is nice. Giant help, which is nice. Into the fray is okay. Brawn and a double. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. So this goes to 11. He's going to scheme for one, two, three. Well, that advances that. 
I have to do his card, so I just remember that. Uh, so three. We do this when revealed. Each player shuffles their discard pile into their deck. Each player removes the top half of their deck, rounded down. Guys, this would have been so much better with Ultron. <laughs> like, this deck is just built for Ultron. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't be the wings. Pin Particle, Rapid Growth, Neck Fury, Ant-Man. There's the wings. That stinks. Pinpoint Strike, Pinpoint Strike. Both of them gone. Oh, I lost like all my good cards. It stinks. Okay, lost a lot of good cards. This flips over to a zero, and then we have to go up to 12. Okay. Uh, we have to do this. So we're stunned. So we're confused and stunned. Double whammy. And back card. Beetle Mania. Um, this card gains surge because we're alter ego. This card gains surge because we're alter ego. Give that as one face down boost card. Okay. All right. So we don't have anything discard there to do science stuff, which. Dinks a lot. What we could do is a double and into the fray, maybe, to play brawn. And this way we can shuffle a science back in. So we'll do that to play brawn. And then we can shuffle a science back in. So that's something. Okay, so. Shoot, surprise attack isn't going to work the way I want it to, which stinks. Giant help is not going to work the way I want it to. Oh man, there's not a lot I can do that I want to do. So let's flip over to big side, right? Let's be, let's be big. Now that I've changed, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do ingenuity. No, I'm going to throw away moment of triumph. Yeah, we're going to throw away moment of triumph, uh, to do surprise attack. Now, again, we don't do anything now because we were stunned. So we're just clearing the stun. Um, do I wanted to actually heal first. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's, let's exhaust first to heal. Probably should have done that first. Um, heal three. It's not a lot, but it's something. So we did that first. Then we did the surprise thing and, and whatnot. Um, okay. Then Brawn is going to make an attack. Deal one damage and remove one threat from this scheme. So that's gone. And then we'll hold on to giant help. All right, let's ready up. So one, I know. Two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So one goes under here. He's going to attack. Um, Braun's going to take this. So it's two, three, four, five, six. Braun doesn't make it. Nothing here. So a stone comes into play. It's the, the heal three one. So we want to kind of flip him down. Bad card. Uh, insight one. Gift down is a tough status card. That stinks a lot. All right, we want to knock him down to next step. Ah, oh, but he's tough. It stinks. All right, so let's do. I want to play Wasp Sting and Tiny, I think. So let's let's flip down. Yeah, let's flip down. We're going to do a regular attack, which is only two, but it's just a knock off the tough, right? Then we're going to use a double to play Wasp Sting. We're in tiny, so we deal five damage. We would do excessive amounts of damage. So hold on. So this would be five damage. We deal excessive amounts. We increase that amount by one. So we're doing six damage. Okay. So we're going to 
knock out the four moment of triumph after your attack and defeat an enemy heal one from your hero point for each excess damage dealt to that enemy by that attack so we heal two right six against the four so we heal two and then we go to next thanos when revealed uh search the encounter deck and discard off with thanos's helmet maybe he snapped his helmet no i didn't snap his helmet <laughs> all right gets to retaliate uh he gets a tough right and he gets 23 life jeez 20 two three all right so now when he heals he doesn't heal anything so that's the best setup for that uh we have giant help and a giant help which is not a giant help so what we could do is ingenuity throw away a giant help and play it uh remove three threats so we'll just remove the two that's there right so he gains retaliate which stinks but it kind of is what it is with that um, oh no, we can't do that because that's a Thor action. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So actually, well, we will do that and I'll clear it. Most HP per hero. It might be Thanos. Loki's 20. I think Ultron's 20. Oh, no, Ultron might be 26. It might be Ultron. Ultron gets pretty high. 28 is Thanos on, on the third stage. All right, let's ready up and do five. Two, three, four, five. Uh, combat training, martial prowess, moment of triumph again, a red double, and uh, ingenuity. Man, we got the short end of the stick on a lot of this. All right, so this is one. He is going to swing for a lot. Um, I feel like we need to defend, I guess. Ugh, this is bad. This is a bad, 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 bad hand. Yeah, it's going to be a setup round. So we're defending two against three, four, five. So we take three damage. One, two, three. Heal three. And give him a face down boost card. So he has that. And then we get um our back card. Oh, good. Corvus Glee. Comes in with tough. All right, so now it is my turn. Let's throw away a double red to play uh, martial prowess, and we'll throw away two more to play combat training. Let's flip down to Nadia and hope we don't scheme out. We're going to shuffle in two science resources. Um, wasp sting, because we need attack. And brawn, I guess, which I didn't realize was a science, but okay. I kind of need to start just going nuts soon. All right, so we get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ultron's 27. Okay. Dang. Wasp Sting, Pin Particle, Double Science, Angela, Dive Bomb, but I can't get Aerial, so that stinks, and Surprise Attack, which could be good. All right, we have to ready up. So this gets one. He is going to scheme for two, three. Sorry, he gets two boost cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. We have lost. <laughs> Holy cow. I feel like I was doing okay. I mean, I'm still going to lose any way you slice that. But I felt like I was at least doing okay for a little bit. 